So I'm here in Anthony Naples fish room. We're going to do a, uh, sorry about the swing and I got this camera on a tripod, but uh, we're going to do a little PVC uh, central airline job on his fish tanks here. So first steps first, what we're going to do, first step to any job is figure out where you're going to put the pump. He's already got this really nice shelf made. So we're going to set this up here. I'll show you how I use the Tapcon screws and hammer drill to get the shelf set. And from there, now we just need to take some measurements. We're going to have to buy the PVC 90 degree angles. We're going to go up and around this corner just with one single pipe. Split it off with a T right up here. Go along this edge. Going to have to go above the electrical box probably. All the way around. So quite a few 90 de degrees. We're going to put it right alongside this pipe. So basically just figure out the pathway and start taking a tape measure and getting some rough estimates on the amount of PVC pipe you need. We're going to do three quarter inch. We're going to just take it across here instead of doing too many 90s. We're going to go straight across and then if he has aquariums, which he's already got some here, Metaframe, um, the plan is he can just uh, tap off up in the corner and then put a little hook and have any kind of airline tubing going straight down to any of these aquariums. But it's basically just a big loop. He's got quite a few tanks here, definitely needs a central air system. And all the way back around, so it'll be one big loop. And we might put a air diffuser slash muffler, I don't know exactly what they call them, but they sell them at Gemco, just to make sure uh, he doesn't have too much air pressure on the pump. So yep, that's the plan. All right, so first step, we're gonna do the shelf. Basically, I'm just going to have Anthony hold it here. This is good to have a second person. Try to get it a little bit level, and then I'm going to use the hammer drill just to mark the holes where I'm going to be drilling into the concrete. You could just use a Sharpie if you already have pre-drilled holes on your shelf. Um, and then these Tapcon screws are specifically made for concrete. Um, the one key is you do want to have a hammer drill, and those are super cheap at Walmart. You can get them for like 20 25 bucks. They don't last the longest from what I heard, but mine's put uh, at least 50 of these Tapcon screws into these concrete cinder block walls and uh, they hold extremely well. And uh, I'll show you, I don't like to use a drill to fully put these into the concrete. I like to hand tighten them because you can easily strip out the concrete on these. So just a little word of advice there and yep, we'll get this shelf hung. And On these Tapcon screws, um, instead of using a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver, you definitely want to use a socket. So just a standard wrench adapter for the socket. So we got the shelf in with the tap down screws and uh, got the pump up there. I think this is going to work out just perfect. This is an extra piece of hose with a hose bar. You can get these at any Home Depot store. Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, Home Improvement Store. And then I'm going to put a pipe clamp on it and just tighten it down up here. And then that'll be our first connection to the PVC loop system.
That's a, that's about my question. Okay. That's a lot. Alright, so we just mapped everything out and figured out how many 90s we're going to need. Now on the safe side, we're going to buy at least a quarter more than what we counted here. So probably two or three packs. They come in 10 contractor packs of 90s. And I'm just going to take a tape measure with Anthony's help and kind of get a rough estimate on how many 10 foot sections of PVC. Three quarter inch is what we're using here for this size fish room. And uh, yeah, we'll just get a rough measurement on how many pieces of PVC pipe we need to buy and go purchase everything we need. On our way to Menards. We're back from Menards. We got 15 pieces of 10 foot schedule 40 PVC. You want to go to schedule 40 not the thin wall stuff. So we're just going to get to work hanging the pipe, dry fit everything and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes.
Alright, so my camera kind of died, my SD card's getting full, so I deleted a couple videos, but you can see we finished up this room, dropped it down under the pipe, it goes all the way along this wall, up, across these tanks. Now we didn't put any valves in yet, but we do have over here the muffler fully open. So now we're going to plug it in, it should be a full loop. And we're just going to listen for any air hissing and then we'll start installing the air valves and switching the tanks over if everything looks good. So, plug her in. We'll see how much air is coming out of that muffler. She's quiet. Oh yeah, you can feel the air coming out of that. It's quiet too, I like that. Alright, we'll check it over and start putting the airlines in. Alright, we finally got her. Sorry about not being able to document every piece of it. He's still got this one pump running. About to unplug that. But we got her tapped all the way around the room. He's still using some of his manifolds, which uh, we're out of valves, so we're waiting for uh, an order of these valves to come in. A 13th 64. So that's the size drill bit you want. And I drill a pi pilot hole first, and that just makes it easier to drill this 1364. Hey buddy! And uh, yeah, they all thread in super nice. Now it's quiet in here. <laughs> That's awesome. And all the tanks are running nice, looks like. And I think we still got quite a bit of air probably coming out of the muffler up there. What do you think, man? I just like to thank Joe very much. He's pushing this <laughs> media and this hobby to do better things. So please buy some fish for him so we can have more. Thanks. Thanks, Anthony. All right. I hope you guys learned something or at least got to see that it's not that big of a deal. And one more thing, these are all dry fit. We didn't glue anything here. Uh, no primer, no cleaner, no glue. And these fit together super nice. I don't think you'd get away with it with one inch, but this is all three quarter inch PVC, schedule 40. Hope this encourages some of you to put in your own central air system, one of those LP8. He's got an LPH 80 Alita pump here, running this whole room, and uh, it's a little, little noisy when you get close to it, but not bad at all. And you can go with the Pondmaster 100, they're going to produce about the same amount of air, about the same price too, but whatever you can find, uh, they last a long time and you can replace the diaphragms too. So anyways, hope it encourages you to do your own air system, it only took us about 5 hours total. And that was going to the hardware store and getting all the parts too. So talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. I'll check out this tank. Anthony's got some awesome fish in here. That's one of the ones I made, one of the Apache peacocks. But I don't really like parrots, but they look pretty good in this tank with everything else. So, All right, talk to you later. Bye.